What up, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I asked you guys to ask me all of the things related to shuffling on my Instagram. So I'm gonna go through all of these questions that you guys asked me on my Instagram and answer them one by one. So this is my little shuffle Q&A. The first question is where do I start? Love watching you and would love to learn for next EDC. One of the best things about shuffling is like going to a festival and then shuffling and just feeling really, really awesome about it. I totally understand you can start with this YouTube channel. I have some free tutorials already up. If you really, really want to dig into your shuffling and get better, I created a beginner shuffle and shapes masterclass. It's linked below. You get lifetime access to it. I teach you all the fundamentals, all of the basic moves that you need to learn, plus combos, choreos, and all of that stuff so it's a great place to start especially for beginners but like you and me you know I found people on YouTube and I just started learning there's lots of people that do tutorials on YouTube the thing about my beginner shuffle and shapes masterclass and the reason why I'm referring to it is because I just put everything in one place like in order everything that you need to know so if you want to go check that out it's linked below go ahead and check it out because I know it's helped so many people on their shuffle journey and it's gonna get you right in shape, everything that you need to know. Feel like my flow is worse now than when I started two years ago. Do you ever feel that way? Girl, do I ever feel that way? Absolutely. I was just having, honestly, this experience like a couple days ago. I was feeling like I was super stagnant. I've been shuffling for two and a half years. And I was like, man, like I feel like I haven't improved. And it definitely happens when I get into the comparison game. So when I start looking at other people that I admire, that I think are really awesome, and I see them shuffling and dancing, and I'm just like, they're so good. You know, like I get in my head like that too. And comparison is the thief of joy. That is my biggest tip. So if you find yourself comparing yourself to others, that is something that I would definitely just like be aware of. You're on your own journey. And so one of the things that I've realized is that your growth, especially in shuffling, doesn't necessarily show up day by day or week by week or even month by month. So something that I did that made me feel really good is I looked back like a year ago, literally just a year ago. And I saw where I was a year ago and I was like, damn, like, I'm, my dancing and my shuffling isn't even recognizable to where I am now. And so sometimes it just takes looking back at where you've been to realize that you are growing. Even if you're not noticing the changes every single day, you definitely are growing. Every time you put in any type of practice, any type of sessions, and you're showing up and you're flowing with the music, you're growing. So just know that, but it might not be noticeable day by day or week by week or even month by month. Just like your fitness journey, your weight loss journey. You know, sometimes in the very beginning, you notice the biggest changes, right? Because you're learning something and you have those biggest changes, but as you progress in your fitness journey, your health journey, it's not as obvious, right? Like the changes are very, very subtle. It's the same with your shuffling. So just be patient, have some grace, realize that you are growing every time you show up and just have fun and flow. You know, maybe sometimes when I feel like I'm not growing, I'm like, I need to learn new moves. Like I need to learn some new combos. And so I'll challenge myself. I'll challenge myself and do things that I haven't done before. So the other day I was like, I just want to learn some new combos. Sometimes it's just blasting music on your earphones and flowing. You know, do whatever makes you feel good, but realize that you are growing even if you can't see those changes. How do I find my flow? I want to find you a caption that I wrote. And I just recently read it and I was like, wow. That was some words of wisdom by old Tori. Okay, this is my caption that I had on this video, this, this video right here. Straight flowing. Flow is when you get so lost in the music, you are out of your head. Nothing else matters except your body's connection to the music. You don't worry about your next step. You don't worry about what other people think. You don't worry about doing a move right. You just flow, you just dance. You just let go of all the ego and clutter in your mind and set yourself free. Honestly, I haven't truly flowed in a hot second. Last night was the first time I felt so free and in tune with the music in a really, really long time. And it reminded me why I fell in love with shuffling in the first place. It was the dance style I connected with the most and how to move and express my body to the sweet, beautiful music I was hearing. If you haven't tapped into your flow, don't worry, it will come. Find music you love, go to places you feel safe, or even better, elevate it. It'll come. You just gotta let go of your ego 
and let the music take over. That is my best advice for finding your flow. You guys, like, it's all in your head. It's all ego. Yes, there's skills and moves to learn. And the more that you drill moves and learn moves, they become more natural. But flow isn't necessarily about the moves. It's about your connection to the music in your body, right? So the more that you can get out of your head, let go of your ego, the more that you'll be closer to finding your flow. And when you find your flow, you know it. I feel like I know a lot of moves, but I don't know how to put them together. Advice. Great question. One of my biggest tips on how to put moves together is learn new combos on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram. There's so many people that are posting combos that are teaching you how to put moves together. My beginner shuffle and shapes masterclass, I teach you combos, I teach you how to put moves together. Taking choreo classes, there's a lot of amazing teachers like Vanessa Seco, Elena Cruz, Kendo Moraguchi that are teaching classes on the regular. One of my biggest tips is like go take classes, go learn how to put moves together. When you learn choreography and you understand music Musicality and you understand counts and you understand how to put moves together like that's how I grew so much I took Van's classes Vanessa Seco's classes shout out Van I absolutely freaking love you and I was taking her classes right as a beginner totally out of my comfort zone didn't know how to shuffle at all I started taking her classes and I just learned I started learning how to put moves together and finding new combos and the more that you build up your repertoire and your shuffle vocabulary of moves, if I'm saying this right, you're gonna figure out how to put more moves together, okay? So my biggest tip would be to find people, I just named three amazing teachers that are super skilled at shuffling that teach classes on the regularly. I don't teach classes anymore, but I do have my beginner shuffle and shapes master class that I have past choreo classes that I've taught. So if you wanna learn some past choreographies, get that master class, you get lifetime access. Cool. How do you learn new moves? You drill them. You drill them over and over again. Like I said, I started just watching YouTube videos like you guys, learning on the internet, then I started taking classes, but my biggest tip for learning a new move is just drilling it over and over and over again. Whenever I'm learning a new move, I just drill it. You just have to drill it. You have to get it into your body, okay? Before you can get it into your flow, before you can just do it in a freestyle, it has to feel like second nature in your body. So my biggest tip is to drill it over and over and over again and do it on the other side. You gotta do it on the other side. <laughs> this is a funny one. My arms look like pterodactyl arms. <laughs> What do I do with them? Just realize that it's hard to focus on how your arms look if you're so focused on how your feet look and you're so focused on the moves, right? So my biggest tip is to not stress about it too much in the beginning when you're learning the footwork. Once your moves and shuffling and all of that starts to become more natural and you don't have to think about it as much, your arms, you can start thinking about your arms. You can start flowing with your arms. You can start putting more intention in your arms, right? And a lot of it is just putting intention to your fingers, like putting intention, you can start flowing, you start touching yourself, you can start moving around, you can match. Um, in my Beginner Shuffle and Chase Masterclass, I talk about what to do with your arms, but just know that if you're, especially if you're a beginner, your arms look like pterodactyl arms, just try to relax them, okay? Like try to just relax them, or like put them in fists, whatever you need to do, and realize that when you start to become more comfortable with the moves and learning the moves and shuffling becomes more like second nature to you. Your arms, you can put more energy and focus and intention into your arms, but one thing at a time, right? You gotta learn to walk before you can run. When you go out to record, do you already have a choreo or do you just flow? This actually really depends on what I'm shooting. So if I am shooting choreos, I, or like combos that I've done, I will make that all up ahead of time. So if I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna go shoot combos and, and choreos and have something that you guys can do yourself, I'll do that ahead of time. I will practice it in my garage, I will make sure I get it all done, I'll get super sweaty, and then I'll go do my makeup and I'll go shoot. And sometimes I'm just gonna be doing like a freestyle like on the beach, I just literally just do a freestyle on the beach. I'll just play music. Sometimes, when I, whenever I do freestyles, I honestly don't plan it. It's not like, I'm gonna go do a freestyle. It's usually like, this is a beautiful place and I wanna do a freestyle here. And so I'll just find a song and I'll just freestyle. So it just depends. Do we need to do cardio, Tori? Easily getting like hard breathing within 15 minutes of practicing. Will it be, or am I weak? <laughs> So shuffling is a high intensity sport. Like it's literally like sprinting 
It's like sprinting. Have you ever tried shuffling full out to a whole song? It's intense, it's a lot. So you don't need to necessarily do cardio. If you do more cardio, you'll improve your endurance. If you shuffle more, you'll improve your endurance. It's just like running a marathon. I mean, you're not gonna be able to run a marathon right when you start. It's the same concept with shuffling. You're not gonna be able to shuffle for a full song all out the whole time, 90 seconds, right away. With AGT, you guys, when you were doing AGT, our performance was only 90 seconds and we were dead, like literally on the floor dying after 90 seconds because it's 90 seconds of just straight sprinting. Like imagine sprinting all out as fast as you can for 90 seconds. That's basically what like shuffling and performing for 90 seconds is. So it's a very high intensity dance style. You're literally bouncing up and down. You're like jump roping. So it's intense. Um, you don't need to do cardio if your goal is to be able to shuffle longer and you want to improve your endurance. Cardio will help, but just shuffling more will help. Shuffling more and then also fueling your body. You are what you eat. You are what you put into your body. So if you're putting in a bunch of processed foods, a bunch of sugar, alcohol, and crap, that's gonna take a toll on your body and your performance. I notice for me personally, like if I'm like drinking a glass of wine a lot, like I notice that, I feel the alcohol. When I was rehearsing and practicing for America's Got Talent with Shuffolution, I didn't drink that whole like nine months. I literally didn't have a sip of alcohol at all. I wasn't drinking any alcohol. I was eating whole foods. I was basically treating my body like I was a professional athlete. That affected my performance. So there's a lot of different factors, but just know that if you shuffle more, your endurance will get better, but drinking lots of water, cutting out alcohol, cutting out processed foods and sugar, all of that takes a toll on your body and on your performance as well. Recommended drills or exercises to improve balance, please. So when it comes to balancing and, and shuffling, it's you want to be light on your feet. The only other tip that I have besides just practicing more and more with repetition, like with repetition, everything gets better. So the more that you practice, you're gonna get better. But the thing that helps me a lot, especially with like spins and just balance and everything is yoga. I do yoga about three times a week at least. And in yoga, you're doing a lot of balancing. You're on one leg balancing sideways, all of this stuff. And so it helps you really just activate all of the tiny little muscles in your body. Where like weightlifting and weight training, you're, you're getting those big muscles. When you're doing yoga, you're getting all the little micro muscles like in your hands and in your toes and in your feet that all, and in your ankles, that all contribute to balance. So you can just find free yoga online too, like on YouTube, Boho Beautiful is someone that I really love. Can you show up your poly pocket progression? I guess I could just put it right here. I can show you my poly pocket progression. I did not start my poly pockets. They were not that great in the very beginning. Um, I can do a whole video about my shuffle journey, you guys, but like I started, I was a beginner just like you, just like everyone else. Um, and I got better with time. So my poly pockets started off a little rough, a little small, and they started to get bigger and better and faster the more that I did them. Favorite shuffling shoes. Lucky you, I did a whole video of the best shuffling shoes. So it's on my channel. I'll link it in this video below. Go check it out. I went through all my favorite shuffling shoes, but my favorite ones that I have right now are these. These are the Nike Air Hirachis. So these are my favorite. I have them in black and in, in white. I'll probably get them in more colors. They're super light. They're just my favorite. They're my favorite shoes to shuffle in. I absolutely love them. I'm obsessed with them. Um, I talk about them all the time to other people. So I think they're super slept on. A lot of people don't have them or you know haven't gotten them and they're my favorite. The Nike Air Farachis. Favorite shuffle outfit, the comfiest one. Honestly, I don't think you can beat an oversized baggy t-shirt <laughs> like the one I'm wearing right now. This is just my favorite thing to shuffle in. Just a big baggy t-shirt. Everyone always asks me where I get my t-shirts from like when I'm wearing my big tie-dye t-shirts. They're literally men's large. I just get men's large t-shirts, that's it. So I'll go to like Jack's Surf Shop or wherever I'm at, whatever store I'm at, I go to the men's large. That's what I wear, sometimes men's XL. So they're just, they're literally just men's large t-shirts. <laughs> All right, you guys, hopefully this video was informational. Hopefully it was fun. And if you have any questions, you can always ask them in the comments. I'm around, I read your comments. And if there's any other videos or anything else that you wanna see from me, let me know. But if this video brought any type of value to your life, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I couldn't do this without your support. All right, I love you guys. Mwah.